today we're going to talk about a very important group of foods and fibers that can help improve your colon health, reduce your risk for cancer, um, improve your microbiome, make you more resistant to disease and sickness. So those are called short chain fatty acids and that's what we're talking about today. So join us to learn more about short chain fatty acids. Did you know there are foods and fibers we can eat that can help reduce our risk for colon cancer, help improve our microbiome, which then has a cascade of health improvements and help us be more resistant to infection. There's many other benefits that we're gonna talk about today too, but what we're talking about are short chain fatty acids and the importance of short chain fatty acids and more importantly, short chain fatty acid food sources. So I'm Dr. Shelley Meyer. I'm a functional medicine doctor, registered dietitian, and family medicine doctor. I have my own functional medicine practice in Denver, Colorado. I have the links all below. And thanks so much for joining me today on this channel. I help motivated women and men reclaim their health, their energy, their vitality, and rediscover the magic of feeling well. And a lot of that has to do with gut health and hormone health. And short chain fatty acids are essential for gut and hormone health, as well as reducing the risk for chronic disease. So let's learn more about those. But first, uh, let me tell you, uh, I post videos every Friday. I would love for you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel so we can uh, have it grow and uh, help others learn more about functional medicine topics. So short chain fatty acids, what they are are acids produced by fermentation in the gut. And in order to um, have a healthy microbiome, we need to have these short chain fatty acids on board. They help with disease management, help reduce Crohn's and all sorts of colitis symptoms, reduce risk for colon cancer, can even help with Parkinson's, blood pressure, high blood pressure, asthma. So we really do need these short chain fatty acids in our lives. The first source we're going to talk about are resistant starches. So those are our complex carbohydrates that are resistant to breakdown, like sweet potatoes, cooked and cooled potatoes, green bananas, lentils, quinoa. If you're resistant, if you don't like the fact of eating the starchier ones, you could um, focus on some of the other ones we're gonna talk about. But these, if you have a well-functioning gut, are very helpful for um, producing short-chain fatty acids. Also pectins, berries, apples, um, apricots, carrots. Those are sources of pectins that can help um, provide short chain fatty acids in our gut. And if you find that any of those foods I've listed are causing bloating or gas, then you need to get with a functional medicine provider or alternative health, holistic, naturopath, one of those types of providers and test your microbiome because that means you've got some bacterial overgrowth or dysbiosis or some kind of imbalance in the microbiome and we can help you with that. Um, also, you have the class of fructooligosaccharides. Those you can find in prebiotic supplements. Sometimes those doses are too high and they can cause some of those symptoms I mentioned, the bloating and the gas. So you may not want to go with a supplement and maybe instead go with the food, which would be some of the pectins I mentioned above, also asparagus. And then you have inulin, which you also see in things like kind bars and in some of those prebiotic supplements I mentioned too. And um, But in foods, they're found in Jerusalem artichokes, onions, leeks, and asparagus. So in moderation, those will help um, with the short chain fatty acids. The reason I say in moderation is if you have too much of them, they can cause some of that gas and bloating. So my mentioned before about having your microbiome tested. With these foods, anybody can get bloating and gas if they eat too much of them. But if you find you can't even have any of them, then, then you need to get with your provider and work on your microbiome. Also, the larch tree, larch arabinogalactins, can help um, produce short-chain fatty acids. And this you can mostly find in the kind of fiber supplement category in a powdered um, either capsule or just a powder itself. Um, another one would be guar gum. It, it's an ingredient that is used and it's think, thought of as like an additive that you might want to avoid. But when you look at partially hydrolyzed guar gum and the research on that with SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and I'll link a, a video I just did on that, um, it greatly improves the, um, the SIBO killing effect of antibiotics like Zyfaxin or the antimicrobials that we use, the herbal ones. Um, so it really helps to produce these short chain fatty acids. And my favorite um, fiber 
brand of guar gum or trademarked brand is uh, sun fiber. And I'll put a link down below so you can check that out. It's easily dissolvable fiber that can really help your, help your short chain fatty acids and your microbiome. So those are the things that can help um, uh, the foods in the fibers that can help you have more short chain fatty acids and therefore you reduce your risk of chronic disease, improve your microbiome, which then cascades into improving your immune health, improving your detoxification, improving weight loss um, success. So all of those things are, are very important. And I'll link uh, some videos I have on microbiome. And then there'll be a playlist below where you can learn more about gut health and your microbiome. So please join me every Friday. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, to the channel. And um, in the link down below, there'll be a PDF link to learn more about these foods. And um, I'll have even more uh, information about the foods themselves and learn more about our medical functional medicine practice. And the link will be down below for that too. So join me next Friday.